Hello and welcome to my second video of the OBIE tutorial series. As I promised in the first tutorial, in this one I'll show you how you can um, start the OBIE server and run your first uh, analysis. But uh, first of all, uh, I want to show you how uh, you can uh, get to some results using the SQL developer. So I'll just open SQL developer. I'll run a simple uh, analysis for you to better understand uh, from where the data is coming from and how it's linked to the database. Okay, uh, first thing that you need to have is to have a, a user that uh, is, log, uh, is logged in and or has access to the database. Mine is HD owner. I'm using HD owner. Uh, this is the schema that it's coming with the, the FTI of Future Transportation Intelligence from Oracle Transportation Management. Uh, I already have created a, a connection that is connecting to the database I'll, that I covered in the, in, the, in the previous video. So now I'll just have to um, uh, open this connection. Okay, let's see the tables. Okay, here are the tables. And the one that I'm use, I will use for this example is called Fshimo Detail. Okay. Let's see if we have some data, and we do have. I've uh, populated this by uh, using an import data, and I simply created an Excel file that is here with all the details uh, I needed to have a functional database. If you want, I can open it. Okay, so this was the initial setup to which then I've created my own records that are random records only to, only to have something to work with. Okay, uh, let's go back now to SQL. <clears throat> you want to check also the model to uh, to know exactly how you should and what kind of records you should uh, create first in order to get a, a working model uh, and a database for further use in OBIE. I'm clicking the model now. It will take some time to load. Okay, so this is the model. I'll run a simple query using HD owner. Uh, select all from Fshimon GID. Detail, sorry. Detail. Okay, where? Transform mode. equal to okay error so bog error let's see okay there you have it let's add, let's add some other columns to reduce the number of columns let's select only uh, the serv service provider name serve prop GID okay Let's group it by them. Okay, group by. Group by serve prof. Okay. And let's add the number of shipments. Okay, let's count them. So count. Count AA shipment. GID. Okay, let's see if this will run. Sorry, now it should work. Okay, so we have the number of shipments and we can add another column here. Let's say the total actual cost of these shipments. So we make a sum out of total actual cost ok 
Okay. Let's see how we do this will look. Uh, we can round it up. Round everything to uh, zero. And let's see now how it will look. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we have the provider or the service provider name with the number of shipments occurring and what's the total uh, actual cost for those shipments. So this is a simple query that you can um, run using the SQL developer. And now I'll show you on how you can use uh, OBAE to pull such, such kind of uh, reports and analysis but uh, with more details, graphic details and uh, so on. So uh, I'll stop the uh, SQL developer. I don't want to save nothing. Okay. And as I shown in other videos, how to start the OBI instance. And now I'm starting the OBI instance. This will take some time, so I'll pause the video. Okay, now that the OBI server started, we can go ahead and launch the uh, it uh, by accessing the link. Um, okay, we'll. Uh, Login with the web, lo web logic. <coughs> Let's create our first analysis under transportation intelligence subject area. Okay, now it's time to pull some uh, fields. Okay, uh, shipment analysis, sorry, shipment dimension. Let's see uh, how many Shimon's GAD we have, if we get the results, a result. Okay, so we do have, oh, first of all, we don't need, let's filter by uh, Shimon's that are actually uh, not new. Sorry, it's not new. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Sorry, we delete it from here. And then what else we need? Shimon facts. Again, let's see how many shipments we have in total. What is their actual cost uh, base? What else we've added um, by using SQL? We've added also the service provider name and transport mode. So transport mode, uh, shipment GID, uh, actual transport mode GID. Okay, we filter by um, air only okay we don't need this column anymore but we do need the actual uh, service provider okay let's see what we get what we what we'll get okay there you have it we can now move columns and should match the sql result uh, what we can do here however we can add uh, more uh, visual data into it we can create graphs we can um, drag and drop columns to add it here such as maybe um, i don't know let's see so same shipment analysis let's get some period dimension and maybe we can add the month id here okay so there you go and then you we can create a graph just a simple graph Okay. You can now play with with these fields. So we need actual service provider to be a uh, prompt over here. Sorry, should be here. The let's group it by months. Okay. Shimon Khan should move to the line. Okay. Let me see if I can get this to work. Okay. 
and okay that's it so there you have it so for example for uh, I know AD HL we had in September total actual cost of around 217,000 and the number of shipments were 171 where of course uh, the mode of transfer was air so again this is a simple analysis that we can do with OBA I mean you see how simple it is it uses the same basic concept of SQL the same one that we've used in SQL developer and if you want to check the okay here is a statement the SQL issued so it's almost the same that we did uh, in SQL developer but it's more easily it's more intuitive and more um, user-friendly you don't have to know um, uh, SQL in order to get some quick results from from OBA so this is a great uh, tool for uh, outside users that just try to pull a, a report quick fast and that has uh, significance and maybe they'll just help them by getting uh, uh, results to 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 to, crew, to have uh, a better decision making tool okay so there we have it let's add the graph here one now that we've uh, created it okay by clicking the arrow sign and here it is again thanks for watching uh, I hope um, soon I'll create a, a third video with more in-depth analysis for transportation intelligence and I'll show you of course how you how you create a dashboard and uh, other uh, analysis and um, by using OBIE tool okay thanks a lot